Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 15, midway through the November Leco Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem and you know everything else, I guess, whatever you like to ask. Um, today's problem is 222, count complete tree nodes. Okay, so given a root of a complete binary tree, what is complete? Return the number of nodes in a tree. Oh, with n, obviously, you just count the number of nodes. Uh, can we do a little bit better, right? Um, hmm. I guess we can do binary search, right? Is that the idea? What is complete again? Okay, so everything's supposed except for the last, right? So, yeah, I mean, I think this binary search is the idea um, in that you know, you go all the way left, you go all the way to the right, and then, um, and then you know, one you're trying to find the last node that that it occurs, and of course, that is going to run in like log square of h time or something like this, where h is the oh, that's not true. Um, so h is the height, so you try to so it's really like h log h or something or h. Well, the last, the the last uh, level, it's gonna have n over two two nodes, right? And the worst case, so that means if you do a binary search on that, it's gonna be log n. So it's gonna be h log n, um, and since h the height is gonna be log n, it's gonna be log square n, right? So and that is less than o of n. So that would work. Uh, whether that's easy to implement is another story, but uh, yeah, but that's the idea. Okay, so maybe let's do that. Mm. Yeah, okay. Let's kind of do that. Let's, um, I think the first thing I want to do is just go left and then go right and then see if they're in the same depth, right? Because if they're in the same depth, then that means if they're in the same depth, that means that it's it's a complete tree, right? So I just want to rule out that case. Um, yeah, there, there are other things you can do as well, maybe. I mean, we could also do ternary search, but let's just ignore that for now. Um, okay. Yeah, okay, so let's just say, um, so I, I guess the height of the tree is actually let me think about this for a second right the height of the tree is going to be always if you go left all the way down right and you could prove this with either induction or just like enumeration or exhaustion or whatever because you know in every case the the if you go all the way left if you keep going to the left you're always going to get the 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 height so let, let's do that um for a complete tree so that, that's do, 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 do. so something like this, right? Um, and then here we have h is equal to height of the root, right? Okay, and then now, I mean, so we could do a binary search, but we can also just do, um, you know, repeat doubling or something, right? I mean, I guess in both cases is about the same which is that you take a middle thing and then if um, um now you take a middle thing and then if it's the same height then that means that by by whatever you, you want to go the other side and and if it is a different height, that means that it's on the left side, right? Um, you could kind of draw it out, but eh, maybe I'll draw it out, hang on. So uh, this is just a binary search on the two cases. Um, I think this one is slightly uh, easier to understand or visualize anyway than the other one that I was saying. So yeah. So basically you only really have two cases, right? So you have something like this. And, and this is just like searching about talking about binary search and then dot 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 here dot 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 here right in the same height right so let's say we we look at this and we go okay this is the same height as this so that means that 
the the last node of this tree on the last level, it's going to be on this side, right? And then, of course, if you kind of uh, do a second, the only other case is dot 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 this out, right? So <clears throat> uh, this is a node, and then you have this height, and then now let's say you know, um, okay, I messed up here, but let's say you you kind of go here, and then you see this node. Right, or maybe equivalently, you see that this node doesn't exist, doesn't same idea. Um, then that means that you know that it's the the answer is going to be within to the left, right? So that's basically the idea, and you're trying to find the last node on the on the last level. Um, yeah. Mm, try to get rid of this. So the idea, I think, I'm set. The implementation may be a little bit tricky. Um, hmm. Right. How? What is it? I mean, I was thinking about um, just numerically um, doing it. What? What is the number of n? Number of nodes is ten, five to ten. Okay, to the fourth. So then we can definitely use a use a number to represent it, right? So here, um, let's see. So on. Um, <sighs> this is just kind of annoying to write, but I think that's okay, right? So the way is just like numbering each node, I think, and then, you know, figure it out that way. And the way that you have to do it is zero is left, one is right, and then you kind of um, put that in, right? So, so that means that for H, I have to get this right. Um, it may be off by one, so we'll have to figure out. So for H, the number of nodes on that level, or um, so I got distracted for a second. So one, two, so. Yeah, so one is one, two is two, three is four. So that me, but it goes from to eight, right? Or to seven, I guess more precisely. But so it's just two to the H minus one is gonna be the right. Left is equal to two to H minus one. And then this is just a regular binary search, right? Um, if found of mid, so if this is found, then we want the left to is equal to mid, else right is equal to mid minus one. So we have to add one here. I think that's mostly the idea. And that, and of course, that node will be maybe that node plus one is going to be the answer. Right. <clears throat> And then now, um, let me put in the root. Mm -hmm. This part is a little bit tricky, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just a little bit lazy. Um, mm. Maybe I could just do something like this. So then now, I don't know if this is off by one. So if H is three, this would have a two shift. Okay, fine. Um, if this is greater than zero, then that means that we want to go to the right. So then we return found. Oh, this is node. I don't know why I put root. Node that right. Um, mid minus this thing, I guess. But I guess it doesn't matter really because I'm I'm just using the n operator. So else. 
Okay, and then also if current is equal to zero, I want to say, then if node is not none, we return true. Otherwise, we, we well, okay, maybe I'll write it in a different way. If node is none, we return false regardless. And then if this, uh, and maybe someone like this, just kind of give it a spin. I don't know if this is quite right. There are a lot of off by one potentials, to be honest. Um, and yeah, is this only one, 1. 1.5 is clearly not right. Mm, I don't know that I handled this case, to be honest, but so because because I, I assume that H is greater than one, to be honest. So, okay, fine. Maybe I'll just special case it because I'm, I don't know that that was in the spirit of my solution. So, um, <clears throat> So it should still, I mean, I, I know that it's still wrong for the other ones, but yeah. Okay, so the last one is one. So, okay, let's print out left, right. I think one thing that I do like about the new UI is that I, I get the print statements in uh, independently. So that's good. So one and one, so it's going to return one. That makes sense. But I think that is, let's see this one. Four and seven. That also is good. So I think maybe I just have some off by one on the found stuff. Um, so that's okay. So four and seven. Okay. So this is actually correct in what we want because it's between four notes and seven notes. But H. Oh, this is H minus one, I think. I thought I. Oh, no, I. Mm, well, let's do h minus one because I, I had this minus one here for that reason. I don't think this, but I think this as a result might have changed some of this stuff as a result. Um, because this statement may not be true. But okay, but now do we do a plus one? So it's four and seven ex inclusive. It is. Hmm. It's four and seven. Okay, fine. Four seven. Da, 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 da. Let's say, just take a look and see what it's doing. So, guys, four seven is force because it tries to look at the. Mm, well, let's just do. What is it trying to find? Because that seems wrong. So it it does find this uh, the six does exist. Oh no. Does it? Because I think I number from zero, zero, one, two, three, four. So we don't want to find from four to seven because we because the way that I set it up. Oh, I see. The way that I set it up is um is from zero to whatever, and it only has seven nodes, okay. So now this is wrong, but I have to, uh, this is so annoying to get right, but okay, three to six. So it tries to find a five and five is the six, so it finds true. And then five, six, it fi tries to find a six and it's force. So, Oh yeah, but then now now we have the plus one, which is what I had originally because I I miss some parts of that. Okay, so now that looks good because I, I I knew that I was going from zero zero index. That's why I had a plus one here. But then I think I confused myself somewhere along the way. Let's give it some mid. I'm about like I don't know sixty percent confident, seventy percent confident. But I could have tested this actually. <laughs> but uh, all right, let, let's try it. This other case. So, so for five nodes, three and six, we choose, we pick the five with four. The four is not hitting, even though it's right here. Uh, I'm putting out very weird stuff. But why not? So the four is, 
to five. Oh, am I? I think I did it wrong, huh? No, that's right. No, well, I mean, maybe not, but so the four, it's, it's this five, but I think I did my, my math wrong on this because four, um, the number we treat as one zero zero in binary. That means that I go right first for some reason, right, left, left, and that will give me Man, I'm, I don't, I messed this up, didn't I, huh? Man, my numbering system is wrong, that's why. Wow, this is very weird. Okay, let me think about this a little, little bit more. Okay, so... Okay, let, let, I was going to bring up the drawing thing, but I think I just messed up. I, so I've been doing too much stuff in my head recently, so I should have just drew it out. But basically, on top, you have zero, and then you have one, two. So that's already a little bit weird, maybe. No, that's right so far. And then three is going to be one, one, uh, or zero, one, one, maybe. Four, five. Do I have to start by one? Did I mess that up? Hmm. I, 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 uh, 2x plus 1, 2x, right? This doesn't work. So, so do I have to start at 1 in this case? Maybe I just messed up. I, I forgot. So then 1, 0. Da, 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 da. Um, and then da, 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 da. I guess so, huh? Well, da, 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 da. okay. I guess so. We have to start at one. So, all right, let's redo this. So that means that we're searching for this. Um, okay, and we have to kind of redo this. Man, I, I think I was thinking about another algorithm. I think that's one thing that happens sometimes with me anyway, um, is that I've done so many problems that sometimes I take these shortcuts, but these shortcuts sometimes are wrong. So, um, so don't don't try this at home. <laughs> okay, so so we don't care about the first thing, but we do care. Okay, let's see. Let's say we have this number, and then we go right. So we go. Duh, 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 we go. Okay, we want to go to the left or to the right. So is this? Minus one because it's the next bit. The first bit is always a one, right? And then now, now we don't have because we're going from one indexed again. We don't need to plus one there. Okay, let's give it a submit. That was kind of an easy fix if it's true, but maybe I just kind of okay, fine. Hmm. A little bit sloppy to be honest, because I, like I said, I think. Yeah, you know, with experience, you take shortcuts, but sometimes the shortcuts are wrong, so you have to validate, and that's why you have unit testing, or in my case, uh, just regular testing. But uh, what did I do last time? Uh huh. Wow, I did some crazy stuff last time, but same idea actually. So good, good on past Larry this time. Uh, hmm, I don't know what I did here. I'm not a memorization. But yeah, um, like I said, this is going to be O of log square n or log, yeah, log n times, times log n time. In terms of space, this is going to be O of h. There's no way around it, which is log n because it's a complete tree. So O of log square n time and o of log n space. Um, that's pretty much all I have for this one. Hopefully it's, you know, it's sloppy, but it's good. So yeah, let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.